For a plate system, there will be a specifically designed install orientation for the injector plate. The placement of the solenoids, however, may depend upon the area of the engine that you intend to pull the additional fuel from. If the additional fuel supply for the fuel solenoid will come from the driver's side of the engine, install your plate to orient the fuel solenoid to that side. If the fuel source is on the passenger side of the engine, orient the plate and its solenoids accordingly. With this system, the position of the NOS solenoid is relative to the fuel solenoid, and both must be considered simultaneously as the plate position is finalized. Another consideration to look at before final placement of the plate is the atomization function. There's one simple concern. Is the plate upside down or not as you lay it in place? When the plate is correctly positioned, the angled nitrous holes will spray nitrous oxide gas onto the exiting streams of raw fuel. Placing the plate correctly against the intake or throttle body is very simple. There's an NOS logo stamped on one side of the plate and fuel and nitrous labels on the other side. The NOS logo means up or top for carburetor plate designs and indicates out or towards the air cleaner for throttle body plate designs. Test fit your plate and decide which will face forward, the fuel or nitrous fitting, and now pull the plate and be sure that the plenum or throttle body mounting surface is clean. The addition of a nitrous injector plate will increase the height of the assembly, so the stock bolts or mounting studs will be too short. In your kit, you should have a set of longer fasteners that will allow for the increased install protrusion when everything is put back together. Thread these new fasteners into place and find the gaskets that were included in your kit as well. Apply the first of the two plate gaskets and then position the plate just as we had described earlier. Remember to double check the orientation of the nitrous exit holes and be sure they're blowing past the fuel exit streams for proper atomization. Now place the second plate or throttle body gasket against the nitrous plate and follow up with the final placement of the carburetor or throttle body assembly. In many cases, one or two of the bolts that hold the discharge plate in place will also hold a solenoid mounting bracket. If you've decided on this mounting style for your solenoids and brackets, in a minute we'll start to place the solenoids. For the time being, you can place any mounting fasteners that are not dedicated to solenoids and snug them hand tight. There are a number of specifically designed solenoid mounting brackets available as accessories from NOS. These brackets can make the job of holding the solenoids look great and it makes the solenoid install even easier. Check with NOS. There's a number of kits available for various carburetor applications.